Here's how it opens and it closes on its own. Hey guys, Andre here, welcome to another video. And today I'm gonna to show you what $1.2 million gets you in one of Chicago's oldest and most desirable north side neighborhoods, Roscoe Village. And the home I'm about to tour is very, very unique. It's an impressive sized condo that lives like a single family home. The location of this property is pretty amazing. You are right on Roscoe Street with some of the best shopping, restaurants, and some really nice coffee shops. Welcome to 2254 West Roscoe. This home has four bedrooms, four bathrooms, one half bath, 3,400 square feet of interior living space, listed for $1,250,000. And a big thank you to listing agent Josh Lipton for letting me tour his beautiful listing. Entering the main level, you notice that the entire level is completely open concept and has some really cool design features. Two living rooms, a kitchen, and a dining room. Let's start in the front. So in front of the house, you have a nice living room slash sitting room, and this area is awesome. You have three large architectural serious windows right in the front, and these actually overlook Roscoe Street, and they tan really nicely with these geometric sconces. In this entire home, you'll notice that there's so many incredible light fixtures that are done in this really bold, rich color that add a lot of visual weight to each one of the areas of the home. In the front, the other thing you notice is these really beautiful custom beams at the ceiling. You see a little lip on each side, just to give you an idea of how much detail actually went into creating every one of these design finishes. I'm a huge fan of this fireplace feature in front of the house. You have this crisp, white, tiered millwork around it. it looks so clean. And then right in the middle of it, you have this really nice uh, porcelain tile. And then the rest of this fireplace is finished in this really rich, almost kind of a dusty black shiplap with this high gloss white picture light at the top. And this is perfect because you can feature your favorite artwork or uh, paintings or family photos or anything you want. You can put it right over here. And here to the left is a dining room. And right over the dinner table, you have this really cool bold light fixture. Again, adding this visual weight that I'm talking about. But let's talk about these floors. These are actually white oak floors beautiful stain, very modern, very chic. And they actually really tie in nicely with the beams of the ceiling in the front of the space and actually the entire color palette of the home. Very contrasting and very, very bold. Gorgeous open concept kitchen with these crisp white cabinets and a very bold navy island. Let's talk about this side of the kitchen. Huge fan of this uh, quartz counters and the quartz backsplash. Again, very easy to maintain, very easy to clean. It's very simple, it's very cool, it's very modern, it's very light. The cabinets are very crisp. I like the brass handles. The other thing to uh, note is this custom uh, porcelain hood. I really like how it pops a little bit because it's glossy and it's clean, but notice it has a mitered edge right here. And at the top, you have the crown molding all around. Very chic, very beautiful. Works so well with this entire color palette. And then right over here is your Thermador six burner range. And this thing is massive. It's actually Wi-Fi operated, so when you're making a meal, you could set it up to prepare and then you can actually control it using your phone. Now that's really cool. This kitchen is equipped with a very nice and very expensive Thermador appliance package. And here's your panel refrigerator and a freezer. It's actually a really cool feature, the way that it opens and closes. Here's how it opens and it closes on its own. And here's your 10 foot long island that looks gorgeous with a three inch thick quartz counter. These dramatic veins look beautiful, look really modern and they work really nicely with these bold black light fixtures over them. And the island is done in this beautiful shade of navy. It's very playful, but it's also sophisticated at the same time. And this is the kind of color that I don't think it'll ever get boring. And it adds a lot of character to this kitchen. Integrated Thermador dishwasher right over here. Here's your trash, here's more cabinets, and then here's your built-in microwave. And I really like this area for it. Very, very convenient. And here's your main living room. And the size of this living room is absolute 
perfection. It's really large. It has this really beautiful coffered ceiling to identify this area and give it its own identity away from the rest of the house. Right over here, you have these custom built-ins. This is where you set up your TV. And I really like the way they played with the contrast here. You know, light cabinets, light stone, and then you have these really bold, dark shelves. Very, very beautiful feature. All right, I have to reiterate how awesome it is to have an open concept main level, just like the way we have in this home. You can actually see from the front all the way to the back, and you can actually have a conversation with you know, people that are on the other side of the main level, which is really great. So when you're entertaining, like this is so great. It has such a nice flow of energy. It's a very, very unique floor plan for sure. And right in your living room, you have a nice dry bar with a wine cooler and some more cabinets. And I'm a huge fan of this focal wall, the way they dressed it up in this beveled subway tile. It's got this antique mirrored look, very clean. And this is the perfect place to show off your vintage champagne or vintage wine collection. You know, just display it right here, you know, and after a long day, kick back in your living room and enjoy a glass of champagne. And here's your powder room that services the main level. Very well designed. You have this floating marble sink and a wall mount plumbing fixture right off the wall. And of course, the, there's a wall covering behind the brass mirror that looks really clean. And then you have this, these two really nice ultra-modern sconces that add a lot of symmetry to this powder room. And right off your living room, you have a private, covered, 300 square foot outdoor terrace. Guys, how amazing is to have a space like this in Chicago, in a condo. It's incredible. Right over here, you have your masonry, custom gas fireplace, really nice detail. And this area is hooked up with everything you could possibly need. It's got the gas hookup, it's got the water hookup, electrical hookup, it's got speakers, recessed lights. You could drop a light fixture here if you wanted to. Like this is so great to have. And let's remember, we are in Chicago. And you know, as nice as it is to have an outdoor space, the key is, is it usable all year around? And this one is. And this wraps up the main level. Let's go see the bedrooms on level two. Welcome to the second level. And on this level, we have four bedrooms. So right off your hallway, you have your first bedroom and it has these beautiful, bold French doors. It's perfect for an office. It's perfect for a kid's room, a workout room, and it has a really nice closet space. Let's go check out the second bedroom. Here's the second bedroom. Again, awesome size. You have a nice window. You have a good closet space. And one of the things I should point out is the color of the doors in the entire home is so bold. Like this is not something that you see in a typical new construction home. Clearly, very creative uh, design team on this project. And it actually works so well. It creates this really nice high contrast. And um, I think it adds a lot of character to this entire property. And here's your ensuite. Just like the rest of the house, very clean, modern color palette. You have the nice floating vanity in this matte black color with acrylic handles, an oval uh, mirror with these really nice light fixture over it. And notice the entire bathroom is wrapped in this vertical oversized subway tile. And you've got a deep soaking tub right over here. And not only is it really deep, but it's actually, actually really wide as well. High end plumbing fixtures. I really like the way that they like selected every one of the finishes. It's very cohesive with the shape and the theme of every one of the finishes in each space. Now this bathroom has two entrances, which is pretty cool. And then right over here is your washer and dryer. And right across the hall from the bathroom is a giant linen closet, which is so good to have. Here's the fourth bedroom. Very comparable in size to bedroom two and three. Great closet space, but my favorite feature of this bedroom is the bathroom. Let me show you. Really nice ensuite, very different color palette. Kind of very innovative. You have this floating vanity in this light wood color. Again, contrasting handles. One of the things I like is that they actually went with a gun metal uh, plumbing fixtures in the shower and on the vanity, which is very, very different. And I love when designers mix up um, you know, different uh, finishes and textures and colors and um, metals. 
It looks really, really innovative. Kind of larger form and tile all around. And guys, this is actually a curbless shower, which is really nice. You know, it kind of slants down and it has a linear infinity drain. Very clean, chic, and seamless look. Now the primary bedroom in this home is to die for. Let's go see it. All right, this primary bedroom is very impressive. It feels like a primary bedroom out of a single family house. But I have to remind you that this is a condo. So having a bedroom of this size is pretty amazing. Huge fan of this paneled black wall. It really adds a lot of dimension to the space. It sets the tone and it really defines the aesthetic of this entire room. I really appreciate when developers deliver much more than just four white, boring walls. There's actually character in this room, even if the furniture was not here. Between this focal wall and the light fixtures and the beautiful window frames, yeah, this room is so well put together. Two walk-in closets in this primary bedroom with these nice sliding doors. So this is your first one. And right over here is your second one. And this one has a window. Look at the size of this thing, it's awesome. Like this is the kind of closet you want, right? The one that has natural light. So when you get ready and color coordinate your clothes, you can actually see what works. So you can look your best. All right, welcome to the primary bathroom. Guys, this room is very, very extraordinary. Everything about it, the layout of it, the finishes. Let's talk about this floor first. Very luxurious tile. And you can tell this tile, it's gotta be at least, I don't know, like $50 a square foot or something like that, maybe more. Very sleek. It actually reminds me of some really expensive five-star hotel in Paris or somewhere in Europe. And I really like the vanity. Really nice natural wood in a slightly darker color. Uh, it adds a little bit of warmth to this primary bathroom. Textured black hardware and you have matte black plumbing fixtures. And again, everything works so well. You have these mirrors and the handles and the plumbing fixtures and then right over it you have these really sleek linear sconces or i should say light fixtures kind of like right over you they're not you know they create the set the mood and they work really well and then this way is your um there's basically more storage you can have your uh, candles here you can keep your toilet toiletries or perfumes and colognes and stuff like that and right over here is your freestanding tub and guys, this looks like a really luxurious, really expensive tub in shape of a boat. It's really large. You have these plumbing fixtures right off the wall and it actually reflects this really fancy floor in the facing of the tub. So everything in this bathroom just like sparkles. You almost don't want to touch anything because it looks so expensive. And then right this way is your oversized shower. You know, sometimes I exaggerate when I call showers large. This one is like huge and it feels so good to be able to have this much space. Nice bowl floor that's cohesive with the rest of the tile uh, color palette. And this is actually a steam shower, which is such a nice feature to have in a condo. It has a rainfall shower head and it actually has a speaker inside of the shower. So you can rock out to your favorite tunes every single morning. And as I make my way up to the rooftop, I'd like to point out these step lights in all the stairwells, which is a really nice touch to this home. All right, on the top level, you have a giant rooftop. And before I show it to you guys, this area is so good to have. This is basically a wet bar. When you're having an event on your rooftop, when you're having people over, you gotta have a wet bar like this. You have a refrigerator here, you have some cabinets, everything's plumb, you have a sink. Yeah, this is what you want in a house, for sure. Now let's go see the rooftop. All right, and here's your private rooftop, and this is well over 1,000 square feet of your private outdoor space. Guys, having this much space in the city is pretty awesome. Nice pavers right over here, great views, and if you haven't noticed, the weather in Chicago has been a little weird lately, on and off, but you can see the skyline of the city from this rooftop. It's so much space. How would you guys use this space? Wedding receptions? baby showers, dinner parties, and that's not it. You have this entire area here to enjoy. And this is perfect to have a cabana here, maybe a hammock, you know, your pets can hang out here. This is really, really nice to have. Guys, this is one hell of a rooftop. 
Guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. I'd love to hear what was your favorite part of the home. Was it the bold primary bedroom? Was it the ultra modern kitchen? Or was it the outdoor spaces? Leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And if you love touring beautiful design homes, consider subscribing to my channel. And with that, I'll catch you on the next video.